Ice Cream Combos podcast, where we serve delicious scoops of entertainment and celebrity news. I'm your host, Xaviera. And I'm your co-host, Carla. And as always, we thank you for tuning in to today's show. We are on episode 366, and the title is... Okay, Carla, hold on. Let me get this right. Hold on. <laughs> you got it. Get it. Get it right. Oh, you already know. <laughs> <laughs> the title of today's episode is... Wagwana. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, let me find out. You stepped it up. I did, didn't I? There yeah, you stepped it up. So that sounds much good. going on right now. It's literally like, yeah, I don't know. Like, you know, in entertainment celebrity news, we have what we call slow news days. Yeah. And then sometimes we have what we call a drought. But yeah. as of lately, I'm like, yo, I might need therapy because it's just so much going yeah. on all over the place. So yes, Carla and I have a lot to get into today. But before we get started, before we get started, Carla, I just got to ask you one simple question. What? What you got? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing great. I woke up this morning. Listen, don't nothing new hurt. Now nah, I'm only playing, but now nah, I feel good. How you feel? Good, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm, I'm y'all. Keeping my head above water. Drinking <laughs> away when I can. Yes, man. Time, listen. <laughs> no, you wanted to bring that up. Look, I was, I was, I started. Listen, I think we all kind of feel that way right now. Even oh. if people don't want to admit it, like I feel like we all feel like that right now. Yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, before we get started, unfortunately. Unfortunately, um, it sounds like today's going to be one of my tongue tie days. Where's my water? Hold on a second. Let me, uh, uh-uh, let me go get my water. Hold on, I water with y'all. Yes. <laughs> Hydration. I don't know why you playing. Nope. I ain't even about to do it. Nah. Uh-uh. I ain't going to do it. Nah, yo. I can't stand when I get the big tongue and sound. <laughs> no, you didn't say the big tongue. <laughs> Stop. Now I got to drink water. Now you got me. I wasn't, my mouth wasn't even dry. See? No. Nah. It's mental. It's mental. It's mental. I ate, th- I think I ate two powdered donuts this morning. And listen, kids, stay off the powder. <laughs> oh, Children, lying. stay off the powder. That's my bad. <laughs> I take full responsibility for getting on the powder. I'd listen, oh, leave shit. the powder. Oh alone. my God. Yes, please. All right. So um, as I was trying to say, unfortunately, we have to begin today's show with another um, RIP. Um, this time it is for Aaron Carter. Yeah. Um, a lot of us Ooh. know Aaron Carter because we kind of grew up with him on the low low. He was like the little white cousin who lived down the block. Man, listen, even if you are a Backstreet Boys fan, he was family. And I am like, yeah, I like I was a huge Backstreet Boys fan. This this one hit home like it. this one kind of hurt. Yeah. And and it really hurts when you watch someone struggle over the years and then it seems like, OK, they're doing a little bit better. Uh, OK, they're not. No, yeah. They're not doing so good. And yeah. um, just to see the way Aaron kind of looked in his um, latter, you know, latter days is the best way I'm going to say. Like, yeah. like he went from Justin Bieber to. You know, it was just, and you know, someone else said that someone was like, yo, Aaron was our Justin Bieber. He was. And if you think about it, I think that one album, like he went, what, like triple platinum, like that, yep. like he sold records. Yeah. Like he really was. He was like our Justin Bieber, well, like their Justin Bieber. Cause it was like, mm-hmm. you know, 
Yes, yes. Listen. Aaron, oh, Aaron Carter was Aaron Carter to us. But all right, yes, Aaron yes. Carter walked so Justin Bieber could run. Hey, there it is. There it and, is. But um, you know, just very sad. And you know, you yeah. reached out to me because I actually was out and about, and yeah, um, you reached out to me and you was like, "Yo, like this is so sad because he struggled." Yeah. Um, yeah. you know. And it's been his struggles have been well documented. I mean, he's appeared on the doctors and he's literally taken drug tests on national television. He admitted to having um, issues with huffing um, pills, just just an array of of substance abuse issues. But it's just against self-medicating, though. Like also, uh, he was also diagnosed. If I'm correct, he was also diagnosed with bipolar disorder. So. mm. You know, and then addiction runs in his family. I don't know if you remember his sister, Leslie. No, I don't um, remember Leslie. Yeah, they lost her. I think it was two, like, don't quote me correctly. I think like 2012. She was only 25. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah, they sad. lost. The, um, And I think I don't remember how their dad died. They also lost their dad a couple years after that. Mm-hmm. I know it was a heart attack. Don't know if that was due to okay. addiction. But then like even his mom, like, and the reason I know so much, too, I actually follow um, Aaron on IG just to see like, yeah. um, I think I watched the interview that he did with Vlad and he looked healthy. So I'm like, all right, mm-hmm. boom, let me okay. follow him and watch that probably real fast. I know I'm doing a lot of talking. No, 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 you're fine. Maybe one of the most depressing and worst things I could have did because um, I don't know if you know, and you all know he had um his son, Prince Lyric, like yes. last year sometime. His so mm-hmm. I saw that. I watched it. Everything he documented, everything. So him and like Melanie, his fiance, I watched and I'm like, yes, this is what may change him because he honestly, like he really wanted to be a great dad. So then mm-hmm. you started seeing them. Videos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. And then that's when you just, so when I hit you up, it just, when I saw it, like we're just getting over it. And I don't want to say getting over take all stuff. Cause I'm I feel still, like still, yeah. Yeah. Still digesting that. that. Right. Mm-hmm. So I see that and I'm like, ah. I just shot you the text. I just felt so sad because I, mm-hmm. I hate when people lose to addiction. I hate it. So, Carla, let me ask you this, because n- neither you nor I are experts in this field, but we've seen a lot. We've heard a lot, a lot. We've experienced a lot. They said that they that Aaron Carter's body was found in a bathtub. Mm-hmm. My first thought was Whitney. My second thought was Bobby Christina, like right. this bathtub thing. What is it? What is if if any? what is the connection between bathtubs and, and people who are um, addicts or, or have um, substance control or, or what am I trying to say? Like just have some type of um, addiction, addiction, right? Yeah. Is it the whole get high, want to relax, get in the tub, chill in the, no, no, it's, I think this is just what I think. And I'm not an expert, but I, I feel like like, what is an addiction expert? I feel like the people that have been around it or lived mm-hmm. it. Like, I feel like if you battle it, not saying I have, but I've had people extremely close to home of battle course, addiction. Yeah, I know. yeah. So um, wh- one thing I know just from um, experience, not myself, but other people is a lot of times if you have a bad trip, you go into convulsions. The first thing people think is put it, put them in a cold tub of water. Mm. right so that that's one thing i'm thinking about right and then the other is maybe like what you said relax but most of the time depending on like what it is the type of drugs he was doing um it may be a possibility but i i think it was more or less and i'm just this is just what i my opinion i'm not speculating right this is just speculation that maybe you know, somebody else was there. He might have had a bad trip. He made it. And then it was like, come on, you know, let's get and not like put him in a tub. But like, come on, you need to get in a cold bath, cold tub. You we've know? seen it um, in movies. It makes sense. Right. We, You know, we've even seen that demonstrated yeah. in movies. Yeah. So um, just super, super sad. Um, Nick Carter yeah. released a statement via social media. And the craziest part was when I found out about Aaron, the first thing I did was go to Nick's page to see mm-hmm. what's going on with Nick. Because mm-hmm. I remembered the Backstreet Boys have that huge, huge ass DNA tour. And I was like, where yeah. are they on the tour? And yeah. girl, they was in London. Mm-hmm. So then I'm like, OK, what what's Nick's next move? You know, mm-hmm. number one, he is literally across the world. Yes. Um. You know, what's his next Horrible. move? Does he try to get home? Does right. he go, try to go through with the show? And right. we now have seen that he did try to go through with the show. He did his best. And yeah. then when they got to the point where they try, you know, when they paid tribute to Aaron, that's like when he kind of broke down and stuff. So yeah, I don't so Carl, sad. What is it? 
and, and I said we was going to do a, a quick podcast. So y'all, we might talk a little long later and they'd be like, pew, 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 pew. <laughs> because today is election day. You know, we record on Tuesday. Yes. So it's election day. So we okay. have responsibilities and things to do. Now, if you're hearing this on Wednesday, and you did not go vote yesterday. I hope your booty hole itches the rest of the <laughs> day. And I'm talking about digging oh, like white anal itch. My itch. anal itch, though. I'm talking about that deep <laughs> anal itch, too. <laughs> no, no, no. For all the fellas. No, no. Let me let me specify. Oh, for all the fellas. No, no, you didn't. For all the fellas, I hope you get the deep, deep <laughs> anal booty itch, right? <laughs> for the females, you for my ladies, wrong. ladies, 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 I hope you get that sharp. Whatever that knife pain is that you get in your booty hole when you oh, pain. No, you what is that. that? You dead ass wrong for what that. No. Is Why would you that? want somebody to experience that shit, man? Man, I don't know. Carla, what is that? I promise you, at least once every 28 days. Right some some ghost sh- you <laughs> shoves, ghost. Ima- ghost though. Yes. shoves an imaginary <laughs> knife up my ass. <laughs> I don't know what that pain is. You cannot control when it hits. Oh, Lord. When it comes. Yes. No, I don't know what it is, but that, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. You play too much. Well, I'm wishing it on whoever (laughs) don't go out and vote. I love it, though. Yeah, true that. It's a life and death situation. Like, seriously, no, that's how you need to go out here and vote. I'm talking about y'all, they try to make decisions about our bodies and everything. I'm going to need y'all to get y'all tails out here. But I'm telling you, if you're listening to this podcast, and your ass didn't go out and vote yesterday. Deep anal itching and knives. <laughs> Look, imaginary knives up the ass. Yo, something's wrong with you. Know, is wrong with you. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, I know. Y'all see, we can't even be serious. Uh mm. okay, but yeah, so l- let's just go ahead and just mm. um just give our condolences to the Carter yeah. family, to Nick, um, to Nick's uh, yeah. to Aaron's son. Yeah. Um, you know, and and the other thing that I just wanted to touch on really, really quickly before we went on a tangent, but um, what is it about us who love like what is it that makes us love to see somebody hurting? Like um, we pretend we don't like it, but it's almost like a car crash. We want to see it. I have seen people yeah. like y'all are posting videos of Nick Carter breaking down crying on stage. That was his brother. Yeah. What did you expect yeah. him to do? Well, that's clout. I thought that that's clout. That that part's you're, clout. You're passing around yeah. the video like, yeah. oh, woo, 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 look at Nick. Yeah. Child, they, don't, they don't care. I'm not being smart. When you genuinely care about someone's feelings, like grieving, you don't, that's a clout thing. But we do, we do have a curiosity about like people grieving. Or how they're going to handle it. Is it, is it the how because, they're going to handle yeah, it? Yeah, because we all have to go through it at one time or another. I think yeah. some of us are curious because it's like, okay, this is how you feel when you lose a brother. Maybe we never lost a sibling before. Mm. Like, there's so many okay. ways okay. to look okay. at it. Okay. Some okay. of that shit is clout chasing. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. Um, all right. So just condolences to the Carter family. Um, yes. One last word before we go ahead and, and hop into the shenanigans and tomfoolery. Um, takeoffs, funeral arrangements have been announced somewhat. Um, we do mm-hmm. know that his funeral is expected to take place on Friday. Um, November 11th, which really, really hurts my heart because that is Wakanda Day. Like, that's the yeah. day we're, as the Black community, we are supposed to be so excited and and preparing to go yeah. mourn the loss of King T'Challa, who we also know is Chadwick Boseman. But right. now we will be mourning takeoff as well, and his family will be laying him to rest. The um, service mm-hmm. is expected to take place around 1 p.m. Mm-hmm. It will be officiated by um, Pastor Jesse Kearney III, um, uh, what else did I want to tell you all about it? Not sure yet if it's um public, but I'm thinking mm. if they're going State Farm Arena, I'm guessing yeah. maybe public because it holds yeah. about twenty thousand people. Right. Um, just sure just really public. really sad. Here we are, yeah. what over a week later, still no answers. Now, Carla, I did see something, and I'm trying to decide whether or not it would be irresponsible for me to say it on the podcast. But just say um, allegedly or rumors, because I saw some rumors that there. Okay, 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 okay. So, yeah. um, allegedly and rumors. Mm-hmm. Right, because I is. cover just, both. Yes, I, allegedly I, in them. <laughs> I just, my girl, I just settled a lawsuit on Friday, so we going allegedly and rumors. Cause yes. Shonda little brother had told my play cousin on my daddy's side. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, For you real. know, each day there's, there's some new speculation coming out, so on and so forth. So now mm-hmm. the latest that I've heard, 
which is all un like unconfirmed. Um, right. But I just want to just have some real conversation with you. But I heard that the latest street gossip is what we're going to call it yeah. is Quavo was actually having a verbal dispute with Jay Prince Jr. Mm-hmm. I heard that same, that's okay, the same, same rumor. And same. that's what I heard on the street. Okay. Same. Okay. Um, which would explain a whole lot as to why no one is talking or speaking mm-hmm. out. It would explain a lot, a lot, a lot. Yes. Um, since we last, well, since the last podcast, Jay Prince Sr. has released a statement that didn't go over well at all. Nah. You can visit icecreamcombos.com to get the scoop on that. Um, did not go over well. Again, nah. did not go <laughs> Not at all. Not go over. Yeah, y'all got to go check that out if you ain't seen it already on icecreamcombos.com for real. Yeah, because yo, it's one thing about hood hood in words. They gonna try to talk like they fresh out of Harvard, but they gonna end up telling on themselves in some way, shapes, or forms. Yep. And there were some yep. sentences in that statement that did not sit well with a lot of people, yeah. including myself. But um, the next Hood street gossip rumor unconfirmed allegedly Shonda little brother told my play cousin on my dad's side (laughs) was they've changed the public has changed their mind about who the alleged shooter was Mm -hmm. have you heard this one Mm -hmm. oh yeah and they are now saying said shooter has been killed have you yeah but you know that's been I've I heard that that was confirmed not to be true like it's so messy okay that situation is very messy yeah, okay. that's why it's like shot the little brother in them, man. Okay. <laughs> like, um, okay. Yes, I already still live it, but the latest rumor allegedly mm-hmm. word on the street that I heard was that arrests are going to be made soon because allegedly witnesses were basically uh it was confirmed that they would be protected. Mm. And that goes back to the first rumor that we first heard, the first street yes. gossip about, you know. Who's the, allegedly the who the argument? Right, right. Okay. Right. All right. All right. So we don't allegedly y'all to death, but y'all I won't know, see right? me in court. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, ma'am. <laughs> okay. So as I told you earlier, um, episode three six six of today's ice cream combos podcast episode is titled Wagwan. Hold on, Wagwan. <laughs> and um, I just I just want to start out by saying, Carla. Yes. Baby. The world is a ghetto. Man, everybody hustling everybody. Everybody's hustling everybody. Yeah, straight up. Yeah, for real. It's crazy. I can't keep up with it. I can't keep up. Let's start with the obvious. Let's talk Spice. Yes. Um, Spice. Dance Hall. Grammy nominated. Hold on. Put some respect on her name. Grammy nominated um, Dance Hall recording artist Spice and Love & Hip Hop Atlanta cast member. There has been a lot of chatter about the status of her health because um, there were reports that uh, Spice traveled to the Dominican Republic Mm -hmm. to have some cosmetic surgery done and there were complications. Um, The first rumor was she had a heart attack. She was in a coma. um, And then of all people, the booking agent said it wasn't true. Like we don't skip the mama, the cousins, the kids, the manager, the Man. baby daddy, the boyfriend. We down yes. to the booking agent. The booking agent is the one who said it's not true. Right. Um, that Spice is fine. Or I don't even know if the booking agent went as far as saying Spice was fine. The booking it's agent rumor, said, right? yeah, the booking agent said it's a rumor. Um, you know, she didn't have a heart attack and she's not in a coma. Mm-hmm. Well, let me tell you what I know. I have a friend who is in the industry of post and pre um, cosmetic surgery care. Mm-hmm. Listen, the, the body girls talk to one another. Okay? okay. Right. So if the post op queen here spoke to the post op queen in Miami, And I was told through a very reliable source that an appointment was made with the post-op queen in Miami for Spice Mm -hmm. after she gets this alleged work done. Mm -hmm. After going in to get the work done, her appointment was canceled because she wasn't going to be able to make it. Okay. To the appointment. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. So then I reported on the story. I was very, very careful just to let people know, like, listen, right now it's up in the air. We don't know what's true, what's not true. All we know is Spice signed off, which I thought was was very um, sketchy as well, that mm-hmm. Spice made this big to do about how she was taking a social media break. Right. Which would explain her absence, which which would explain her downtime, which would explain her mm-hmm. um, non-activity on socials. Mm-hmm. I'll see you after the new year. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we know average recovery time, you know, eight to 12 weeks. That sounds about right. That'll put us in January. Right. Okay. So that explains no activity on social media. But the one thing that I talked to you about and we talked about privately was that Spice don't let no rumor go on and, and this, that, and that. Not day at her. all. Not at all. I mean, especially when it comes to blogs too. Like Spice is out there. You can go Google it. Spice has attacked blogs for putting, it's been so many, you know, rumors and she does address it. So yeah, that is so true. And I, I just found it strange that with the smallest things that she has gone out on a ledge right. to address, you right. didn't address a heart attack and a coma. Exactly. So that was so a true. that was a red flag in itself. Then on even more intel, because I have friends in high places, I just mm-hmm. mind my business and stick to the story. script. Yes. But on this podcast, I could tell y'all allegedly, supposedly, what <laughs> Shonda little brother told my play cousin on my daddy's side. I could tell y'all <laughs> that here, and I was told that um, Spice allegedly went in for cosmetic surgery after being turned down by a surgeon in America mm-hmm. because surgeon in America, you know, listen, that board, of, that board don't play. Right. Yeah. And you have to meet certain requirements right? Um, that she was turned down for the doctor here in the U S which is why she went to the DR. Mm-hmm. Um, I was told that she took someone with her who is also um, very well known Spanish speaking to be a translator Mm-hmm. So I won't say that person's name, but it'll all come mm-hmm. out in the wash. But they were a former Love and Hip Hop um, cast member. I'll just put it mm-hmm. out there like that. I'll let y'all yeah. do the little sk- 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 hey, right. Man, y'all. Listen, yeah, y'all, 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 y'all listen. Come on, come on, Detective Gadgets. Yes. <laughs> um. So she took a Spanish speaking um former Love and Hip Hop uh cast member with her to Dominican Republic. There was a hernia involved, is what I told mm-hmm. I was told. Um, The hernia was discovered during surgery, which caused the complications. I was told that she was not in a coma, Mm -hmm. but I was told that she was knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Right. Okay. Um, At some point, I was told that she was supposed to be headed back to Miami on a private jet. Okay. Um, But from there, I haven't heard anything else. So what have you heard as of recently? Um, It's so crazy because like, honestly, when, when, you know, you talk to me and I saw your info and I'm like, wow, I, um, two popular like main sources, Jamaican Observer and Jamaican Gleaner. There was the same thing. There was nothing. Um, but as of this morning, um, the Jamaican Observer is saying, so everything you say makes so much sense because mm-hmm. um, from what the Jamaican Observer is saying, a, a, a source that is a very close source to the said that family members are saying that Spice is now alert. She's awake. I was told um, she was awake. I was told she was yes, awake. And, and speaking. And that, um, but no one actually is speaking on like what actually caused her to be in this state. Mm-hmm. Um, they're just asking for prayers, but that's pretty much the update. But that confirmed for um, even more for me, not saying that I didn't, that mm-hmm. it was definitely something. They're saying heart attack also still. So um, mm-hmm. this was supposed to be a close family member. And um, they're saying that it improved. Her medical condition improved overnight. Okay. Yeah. I I forgot to mention that. I was told that she was awake, alert, and she was supposed to be transported back. Right. That's what I'm saying. So you pretty much confirmed. Yeah. 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 So, and that was the first thing that any of the major outlets um, in Jamaica, like there was a lot of same thing here, like the blogs that, but like their major outlets, that was the first thing I seen. So they've Mm -hmm. really, really, really tried to keep that um, under wraps. Yeah. You know, um, my question. though, she's, she's um, recovered. Yes, absolutely. First and foremost, thank God that she didn't lose her life because so many haven't been as fortunate, um, you know, undergoing the knife to make these cosmetic changes. And listen, I don't advocate for cosmetic surgery, but I don't I'm not against it, but I don't advocate for it. What I advocate for is going about it the right way. What I advocate for is, you know, 
go get these pre-surgery consultations, listen to the doctor. If one doctor says no, don't slide over to someone else who will do it just because you're waving money in their face. Yeah. There is a reason why you were told no. And yeah. listen, as a woman who is really going through some strange changes right now, I'll be in the bathroom like, Jesus, what is this? <laughs> um, you know, I'm going through even with me earlier because I'm like, Carla, look at my neck. Look at my neck. <laughs> and um you know, I, I understand wanting to to preserve your beauty or or fix things that you feel hinder your beauty or or these little trouble things or things that just I don't know that just mess with your personal self confidence. I understand that, but I have always been an advocate of feeling like not not advocate. I have always believed that cosmetic surgery was created to repair versus enhance that, that that's uh, always just that's that just very very my no, 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 no no that's good that's actually wow that's that's so funny you said that because um like let's the one thing i wanted to say is we all have to remember that any surgery any surgery that you have whether it's on a broken finger or it's heart surgery something as severe as heart surgery there's risk there's major risk. The mm -hmm. papers that we hurry up and sign, I'm talking about things that aren't elect, like surgeries. We don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. Surgeries that may save our life. There's a risk of disability. There's a risk of death. So that's those are the things you want to think about first before you think about any um, surgery. And I'm not again, like I understand and I'm a woman too, but at the, I think the biasness of me being in the healthcare field, I'm always like, okay, is this worth it? Going to cost me my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, because any, like I said, any surgery can, you know, um, get a second opinion. Always get a second opinion with anything, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and if something don't feel right, I think sometimes we ignore our gut feeling too. Yes, Lord. If something don't feel right, just don't do it. And and you know, and don't I, be so determined to get something done that you ignore the signs and the warnings that are given to you along your journey. Yes. Um. I want us to get Kalia on here. Um, okay. Kalia is a dear friend. Kalia is an amazing, um, she just, she owns and operates an amazing business. And she is who I consider to be the Atlanta post-op queen. Okay. Um, not even post-op, pre-op as well. Okay. Kalia will literally tell you, teach you, show you what you need to do to be in the best shape. Um, she even wrote a book and released a book about like preparing for um, cosmetic surgery, like a check, like a checklist. Like okay. these, these are the things that you need to do is everything from getting your BMI together to eating right, to making sure okay. your heart rate and all like she really, really put together something really good for those of okay. you who just you're going to do it by any, you're just going to do it. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I would like to have yeah. maybe get her on the show. Yeah, that would be good. Have, and 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 maybe have a few ICC friends join us who have questions and she can answer their questions for them directly. And maybe we can do yes. something, you know, kind of intimate as well, where she can do a and a with people. Because, listen, I'm not telling you all to go out there and get surgery. But if you're going to go out there and get surgery, I want to make sure that you come back home. Yeah, for real. I want to make sure that you come back home. So, yeah, I'm um, just join us in sending up prayers for spice. Yes. Um, I'm very interested to see how they're going to play this, um, yeah. because they're still being very careful not to say too much so that they can come out and be like, Oh, child, child I had COVID. <laughs> I, <laughs> with me. I had the COVID. They know by now they can't. And see, once like the lie was out there and you got busted, it's going to be very hard for people. I think to believe anything now, no matter mm -hmm. what. Yeah. Um, you know, another thing, since we're already speaking of like healthcare and, and, and surgeries and so on and so forth, mm -hmm. let's go ahead and take a break first. No, before we get into this, I want to talk about Albie Shore. Remember I told you about him with the two, yeah. two month, um, coma and child, he done gave yeah. us the details. And, yeah. and when I tell you, he gave us the details, I told y'all Albie Shore like attention. Yeah. But when I tell you, he gave the details and the details were unsettling. So let's go ahead and take a break. And then when we come back, we're going to talk about Albie Shore and how he said the doctors wanted to place him in hospice, girl. Yeah. Hospice. Sad. They yeah. was trying to hand him off to Jesus. Yeah. But the God said, not yet, my son. I know that's right. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a break and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are back. Um, if you're listening to the podcast, which obviously you are, <laughs> maybe 
I should go back out and come back in again. Here I come. <laughs> hey guys, we're back. Thank you so much for tuning into today's episode. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to leave out and come back one more time. <laughs> okay. Carla, you know. <laughs> hey guys, we are back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my okay. gosh. Yeah. Listen, just be sure. To uh, rate and subscribe to the podcast wherever yes. you listen, child, because uh, as you can see, today is not my day. But just um, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're enjoying the podcast thus far. Tell a friend about the Ice Cream Convos podcast and be sure to rate and subscribe to the podcast. Drop down in the comments below wherever you are listening and be a part of the show. Let us know your thoughts, your views, your opinions, and whatever else. However, just let us know how you feel in jail. Just yeah. tell us. Okay. Yes, yeah. All right, Car. Well, I'm about to call you Carly. <laughs> Come on, what is? Don't play with me like that. Stop playing. And you know I hate Carly. Only one person in this world can call me Carly because I love her to death. But I oh, truth be told, I know. Uh, I was, a, you know what's sad? I didn't hate Carly. I, I'm. Oh, I use the word hate. You know, I don't. Yeah, I just. Mm-hmm. I really despise Carly, mm-hmm. and it's why? a reason. Tell but me. I ain't gonna say it on that. I tell why, you when we get off. Why? I tell you when we tell get off the air. Human Listen. nature. Why? Listen. Why? It's just a day party. I'm have a great reputation. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand her. I can't stand her, y'all. All right, hold on. Okay, so before we went to break, I was telling you guys about. I'll be sure. Yeah. And uh, last on the last podcast, I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird. I'm turning my head towards this cell phone. Um, mm-hmm. on the last podcast, we told you guys about how um. I'll be sure son told us his daddy was in a coma for two months. And we were all were like, what? Okay. Right. Um, people who listened to his radio show, they knew something was up because he hadn't been on the radio, but I don't mm-hmm. expose him, you know? Yeah. Um, so I'll be sure took to social media because again, I told y'all I'll be sure loves attention. Mm-hmm. Um, but in this particular case, I'm going to give him all the attention he wants. He shared, I think, a series of three different videos where throughout his entire um, health crisis is what I'm going to call it, for lack of a better term. Someone was documenting. We're talking pictures, videos, the whole nine. Mm -hmm. I'll be sure to put together a PowerPoint presentation of his. (laughs) Not a PowerPoint. (laughs) You're wrong. (laughs) Oh, okay, he Lord, not. we are, you know, Lord, you know what we He know, unless he know not, her. We are not laughing at Albert Sharp. But yeah. the 54-year-old singer turned radio show host, born mm-hmm. Albert Joseph Brown, said he attended a lunch meeting in July. Mm-hmm. He left the meeting, returned to the studio, the music studio, or, or I guess maybe it was the radio studio. I don't know. But he said he returned to the studio to begin working on his project or continue working on his upcoming project. At right. some point, he lost all feeling on the left side of his body mm-hmm. and he fell over. Thank God for Jesus. Yeah. His phone was still within, within arm's reach. He was able to call, you know, for assistance, call for help. Right. He said that uh, DJ Eddie F, you know, some of y'all know Eddie yeah. F shout out yeah. to Eddie F um, took him to the emergency room and they were standing up. Well, Eddie F was standing up in the emergency room, talking to a security guard. I'll be sure was in a wheelchair. And he said, he remembers Eddie F talking to the security guard. And then he woke up in October. Damn. Woke up in October. Horrible. Yeah. So let me tell you, let me tell you some of the things I'll be sure um, endured during this health crisis. He underwent multiple surgeries, including repairing a hematoma and a hernia, a lymph node removal and an organ transplant. He offered also suffered from fungal pneumonia. He became septic. He was placed on dialysis. He received multiple blood transfusions. He had a bowel blockage. He was ultimately intubated. Did I say that correctly, Carla? Yes. All right. And he was placed on a ventilator because his oxygen levels had dropped down to 20 percent at some. Yeah. Yeah. At some point, the doctors was like, listen, Linda, this ain't looking good. Um, I think our best bet is to place him, him in hospice. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll be sure credited Reverend Al Sharpton, DJ Eddie F and others for fighting on his behalf and saying, nah, he not going to hospice. I know that's right. Well, stay yeah, right shout here. Shout out to them. Right. And y'all going to keep on working on him. Yeah. And get him right. And, you wow. know, not to go off to the left, because, again, we're trying to be time sensitive today because we got to get to these polls. But, um. You know, sometimes I feel like, I don't know if I talked about it on this radio show before. I feel like certain hospitals, when they reach a certain place with you, they want to free up the bid. 
And I feel like that is what happened to my grandmother, but I couldn't prove it. And at the time I wasn't even in the headspace to really put it together. It was Mm -hmm. like many years later that I realized, hey, they were trying to free up that bed. Did I have that conversation with you before about my grandma? Yeah, yeah. And that, like, just being, like I said, once again, in healthcare, it's it's not like the the people there. It comes down to insurances. It comes Mm -hmm. down to the insurance company, honestly. Like, so if you have top-notch, top-tier insurance, chances of them really, really taking good care of you are high. Mm -hmm. If your insurance is not the greatest or, unfortunately, state-funded, those are the people that, you know, all right, uh, how long are you going to be here again? Yeah. Like you now know what I'm saying is you just sad. Oh, you just dropped a gem because I thought it was odd that I'll be sure was hashtagging healthcare in his posts. Oh, wow. I was like, that's strange. Yeah. Like, why is he hashtagging right. healthcare? Oh yeah. It's, it's, I was like, mm. and, and it wasn't, no, no, about. he was not even healthcare. He was hashtagging health insurance companies. Ah. Uh, yeah. So, wow, you just unlocked another level. Yeah, in it's story. sad because I mean, insurance should be insurance, right? We're all the same, but it, it unfortunately it? doesn't work that way. Healthcare should um, be free. And it's not one person's fault. It's not the administrator of the hospital. I mean, it's just a deeper, bigger problem Picture. in our healthcare yeah. system. Yeah, pic- exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, I'll be sure is on the mend. He is um, continuing to get stronger and, and heal every day. So we do send our love prayers to yeah. him um, as he continues his journey back to being 100 percent, because yes. we claim it in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. That's right. Um, Family drama. This situation right here, I want to talk about Dwayne Wade versus Sylvan Funches Wade. Now, for those mm. of you who have been following D Wade's career from the backpack days, y'all know Sylvan very good with very well. Very, very, very well. <laughs> y'all know Sylvan very well. Like yes. I'm literally about to start using her name like a verb. Like y'all about to make me go see a Vaughn on his <laughs> like, yeah, Y'all know that woman oh, very, very gosh. well. Yes. Um, but Bless to be heart. fair. You know, we are not in the business of holding people's past against them. Sylvan right. is now um, an accomplished author. I believe she's given her life to Christ. Mm-hmm. Um, but I know one thing is for sure and two things is, are for certain that she is still, um, she still has scars from her marriage to Dwayne Wade. Yeah. Sylvan was- expect, yeah. Yeah. If you, depending on how you look at it, if you see both mm-hmm. sides, you got to kind of expect it though. Yeah. Because I listen, Sylvan was, she was shooting with Dwayne in the, in the gym. She yeah. was shooting with him in the gym. Yeah. And then when he got in the league. <laughs> yeah. It's, and not blaming him either. Stuff. <laughs> right. Right. And we weren't like in that house and we don't know what we on, don't. But know. We mm-hmm. do know that those situations are always going to be, I think, stick with you for life. Like yeah. When you, like you said. They're I'm always going to be painful. You. Yeah. Yeah, always, always going to be painful. So yeah. um, out of their marriage, they had two children um, and Sylvan and Dwayne are at odds again. And this time it is over Zaya, their 15 year old daughter. Um, you guys may remember that Zaya is um, transgender. She identifies as female mm-hmm. and Dwayne Wade has filed a petition to the court to legally recognize Zaya as female and to legally change her name and issue a brand new birth certificate. Sylvan filed a, um, what's the word I'm looking for when you don't approve of it? Uh, what's the word? Not, uh, not, I'm just going to use disapproval for like, like an appeal. Would it be an appeal? No, it wasn't an appeal. Hold on. Let me see. Okay. She filed a, I'm finding the word right mm-hmm. now. Yeah. I'm not she, sure. An objection. Good okay. Lord. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So she filed an objection. Um, basically the, her reason for filing the objection is, Bottom line is she wants a judge to make Zaya wait until she is 18, which is what, three years from now, mm-hmm. before she makes such a grand decision right. regarding her life. Yeah. As a mom, I can get behind that. Oh, yeah, me too. Um, um, yeah, especially a major decision like that. 
Yes, because let me tell you something. Some of the things I wanted to do at 15 now at, exactly. the, at the tender age of almost about to be 50. Girl, can you imagine? Y'all had let me do what I wanted to do. When I was <laughs> exactly. I like, like, can I take a second just to tell y'all a few things yeah. I wanted to do when I was 15? Go ahead. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to do was tattoo the Wu-Tang Clan logo on my arm. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Look I'm not talking. I'm now, not that ain't that bad. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about a little one. I'm talking about cover my whole arm. A sleeve? Um, <laughs> I, I <guess. laughs> I wrap the W around my arm, okay? Then I friend. wanted um I wanted to get the contact lens like Method Man that made it look like I only oh had my one. Gosh, that was so creepy. So creepy. Um, I wanted that. <laughs> okay. Um, I wanted to tattoo Nas's name anywhere on my body. Don't judge. Um, <laughs> all right, y'all. I'm, so, I'm still hanging oh on. Oh my gosh. I'm still hanging on. No, I think we all wanted to tattoo some type of celeb. I think everybody went through something like that. Okay. I do. Okay. Um, I do. There were some other things that may fall in the line of body mutilating that I kind of wanted to yeah. do. I don't want to kind of get into that kind of thing right <laughs> now, but just so many different things that I wanted to do at 15 that made. Yeah, me. man. We don't That's, know. Now, with that being said, I definitely recognize and respect the fact that Zaya identifies as female. Right. Um, I definitely, I uh, respect and identify and, and respect and recognize is the word I want to use. The fact that Zaya um, feels um, as if, you know, she's trans, she's a transgender female. So I do um, recognize all of that. It's for me, it's the permanent things that I would, I think she should wait until she's 18 mm -hmm. um, because as of right now, she is being fully and solely recognized as Zaya. You know, right. the world is recognizing her um, transformation. So at this point, it's just kind of, it's more or less like paperwork. Um, and, and maybe I sound dumb and ignorant right now because that's not really my lane, but just as a mom, mm -hmm. if Zaya was my daughter, I, shockingly can't believe I'm saying this, but I would be the seal Vaughn of this situation. Yeah. Just the baby. Listen, three more years, just wait. Three yeah, more that's years. I agree. I agree exactly what you're saying. And let's even take the piece, the transgender piece out of it. If your son or daughter came to you and just wanted to change their name, period. Mm -hmm. Like look how hard we usually know our kids names. Mm -hmm. Like as soon as we know we are, we're pregnant, we're like, all right, this is baby such like, I know I yep. know CJ's name. I already knew his nickname, knew I wanted mm -hmm. to call him CJ, right? Mm -hmm. So then that, you have to go through that, the name change itself. As a mom, you're like, hold up. This is the name mm -hmm. I gave you. Yep. This is, so, you know, I agree. Like, I feel like she should wait until she's 18, an adult, mm -hmm. to make that decision because we don't know if she, she may become 18. And I don't think so. I totally, right. in three years, I feel like this is, She's mm -hmm. totally knows who she is, what she wants. But I get it as a mom. I do. I totally get that, you know, wait until she's 18. So Yeah, I get it as well. So um, here's the thing. I'm going to shoot Siobhan some bail because people were like, ah, but she said in her petition that she feels like Dwayne may be pressuring Zaya to make this choice because there are so many deals and financial um, things on the table, right? Mm -hmm. um, that... Zaya can take advantage of, you know, mm -hmm. once all this, the legal side of things are done, right? Mm -hmm. uh, an alleged deal with Disney, some endorsements, you know, and she feels like Dwayne is, or maybe pressuring Zaya to, you know, move, move this little thing forward right, right. to get this done. Yeah. Now, the thing is, a lot of people got confused about this because they're like, she, the word financial gain was used and okay. people are like, I mean, I'm with Siobhan, but financial gain, like Dwayne already filthy rich. Show me a rich person who don't want more money. God, That's there it money. is. All right. Facts. Show me a rich person. Because I'm, I'm I, uh, listen, <laughs> be like, scratching and surviving. <laughs> And I'm still out here trying to that's, get my weight up. No, that's the truth, though. No, you. That's, that's a great point. So that is a, group, a good point. Show me a rich person who doesn't want more money. And even for Dwayne, um, 
not saying that he's pressuring Zaya. We're just talking from a financial standpoint. What parent doesn't want to put their child in a position where they can start earning for themselves and setting Absolutely. up their own future? Yeah. And then a third. So um, I wouldn't knock Dwayne at all if opportunities were presented for Zaya um, for her to take part in certain opportunities or take advantage of certain opportunities. But at what cost? Right. And if that's the motive. It, right. And I think that's where I can Steve never Bond. pronounce her name. Yeah. yeah. Like that's where she feels like that's the motive. Mm -hmm. Right. Like it's one thing if I get everything you're saying, like we all want our kids to be able to. So that is it's nothing wrong with that. But if you kind of pushing that along and say, look, come yeah. on and hurry up and wrap this up yeah, so we can. Good. That's oh. wrong. Like, yeah. So Dwayne said that. Um, I don't know. The whole thing just got really ugly. But here's where I'm going to shoot Siobhan Bale. Once the story got out, the story was originally reported by the blast. Mm -hmm. And that's where everybody picked the story up because the blast, there are some sites y'all know, love to go digging through the courthouse files. And mm -hmm. that's where they get the real tea in the court documents, right? Mm -hmm. That we didn't even know it was going down because it was supposed to be under wraps because it right. was court documents. So they found the, the objection that Siobhan filed. They mm -hmm. made it public. Seal Vaughn never made this public. Gotcha. This was supposed to be private family court. We're going to handle this behind closed mm -hmm. doors. Seal Vaughn did not make this public. So for that, I want to shoot her bail on that and let people know, please don't blame her for trying to call some drama in the street. Yeah, for real. Because that's exactly what Dwayne Wade did. He is in the motherland right now in Africa with uh, Gab and... And um, Lil Mama, I don't know if the other two kids are there, but I know Lil Mama's there. Okay. And he took the social media and dragged Seal Vaughn for Phil. Yeah, that was wrong. I felt like that was wrong. That was wrong. Now, in my spidey sense of spirit, I feel like Gabrielle Union wrote that statement. I'm just going to, because oh, either, really? either Gabrielle wrote it or Dwayne is wild spicy. Yeah, because you know what? You got a good, oh, you just made a good point. Because now that I'm like going through it over my head, like visualizing it that's that's a woman right that's a man doesn't write like that like honestly that bitter i hate to say it but it was like it was it really read like it read like bitch i'm so sick and tired of your yeah that's what i, I was trying and to yeah, figure out how to word it but it was yeah. one sentence because you know why when i be reading that one sentence is jump out it was when Dwayne wade allegedly said i said allegedly because i don't know who wrote that line mm. um taking the high road something about taking i'm i'm done taking the high road because i'm the high road has run out of real estate yes yes now yes, they ain't being mary go. jane i don't know who it is <laughs> oh, come on being mary jane the high road you has run it. out of real estate no for real yo you on it zab mm -hmm. that that really you know Dwayne ain't right there so then Dwayne paints her out to be a deadbeat mom yes um which it's just that's Even where that that's really the case. Ugly. Yeah, Lee, that that's in house stuff. Like, if that's the case, this has been going on. Like, this isn't new, mm -hmm. right? Why are you dragging her? And now you made a good point. Like, she did not, she didn't expose it. She, like, that was someone else. Those court documents were not her, it's not her fault. Not at all. And I'm glad you put that out there because that's going to be the narrative. Of course. It's that's, gonna be the narrative the and she's trying to be yeah. messy. She's still yeah. bitter. She she need to go find something to do. She yeah. Listen, at the end of the day, we don't know how active or inactive she is. We don't know how true. active or inactive she's allowed to be. That's true. Let's that keep it so 100. True. Yeah. So my thing is, I just want y'all to know that Seal Vaughn did not put that out into the media. She went to court and did what she was supposed to do as, as a mom. Mm -hmm. And it was the blogs who went and got them court documents out of that courtroom mm -hmm. and made them public. Yeah. Um, and even if Dwayne did write that, that thing was so spicy. It gave me a bird's eye view of what Seal Vaughn may have been dealing with for all these yeah, years. Yeah, I always felt that way, though. I've always felt that way. Like, I think me and you talked about it. I always felt like she got the bad. I'm not saying she's perfect, right? No, none of us but are. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like once you have people, we already know how it goes. When you got money, you got power. And then it becomes, about? then you can manipulate, you can manipulate everyone. Mm, okay. So in closing, <laughs> <laughs> all I'm going to say is in closing, uh -huh. you can't nobody convince me of nothing of Dwayne Wade after I saw the way he treated 
that baby that he had. Okay. When him okay. and Gabrielle Union mm -hmm. allegedly was on a break. Yes. Says it I all. have yet to see, and, and just because I didn't see it don't mean it hasn't happened, but I'm going to tell right. you what I didn't see. I, I have I yet to see that child standing next to his siblings in a photo. Yeah, that's true. I have yet to see that child who did not ask to be here. I know that's right. I have For yet real. to see him included in a family photo. Mm -hmm. I have seen the Wade family post. Oh, y'all about to get me started now. Be like, <laughs> I know your bag. Y'all done got her in a bag. The Wade family. <laughs> oh, post a family picture <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> they had Zaya's little white boyfriend in the picture, <laughs> but they didn't have Zaya's baby brother in the picture. <laughs> Let the Lord use you. Y'all not gonna talk to me about Dwayne Wade's character. You all, man. Listen, not talk to me about Dwayne Wade's facts. character. Yeah, that's woof. Y'all yeah, not gonna he, talk to me. You might I watch literally life. saw Dwayne mm -hmm. Wade on Easter go spend Easter with that child the day before. Post a mm -hmm. video of him with the little boy, just him and the little boy. And I believe mm -hmm. the little boy's name is Xavier. I want to say Xavier because his mama mm -hmm. is, okay, so small world. Dwayne Wade, the little boy's mother that Dwayne Wade had the child with mm -hmm. is the same woman who has children with Junior, Damon Wayans Jr. Oh, wow. Okay. So what Damon Wayne. small Wayne, world. How about that? So Damon Wayne Jr.'s kids are Dwayne Wade's baby's siblings. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. So um, I can't even think of her name right now. I think her last name is like Meta Yor or something like that. But she's an ICC friend. I'll tell you that. She's been following us for years. But okay. I saw Dwayne Wade go spend an isolated holiday with mm -hmm. the with the little boy, mm -hmm. and then the next day, the Wade family took their Easter photos with Zaya's boyfriend. Damn. So you let Zaya's boyfriend. Yeah, that's wild. Picture, that's why not Zaya's brother. Yeah. Okay. That's what might so, come back to haunt him. So you don't have to talk to me about Dwayne Wade's character. I'm not trying to assassinate his character. I'm just telling you what I see. And Man, based it is what it I is. See, it is yeah. what it is. Mm. And wow. that's just the way it is. Remember that song? Yes. Yeah, my jam. Yeah. Um, so since we're already in the NBA, let's talk Kyrie Irving real quick. Because mm -hmm. child, they putting Kyrie through it out here. In the yeah, they really are. It's uh, Well, you know. Okay, so here's the thing with Kyrie. Mm -hmm. um, Kyrie posted, took to social media and posted the link to a documentary which has been labeled anti-Semitic because there's been a there is apparently some heavily anti-Semitism in this documentary. Excuse mm -hmm. me. Have, excuse me. The Lord tried to choke me. He like, girl, save yourself. <laughs> 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 the Lord tried to choke me. He like, save yourself. <laughs> Do not come down to Kyrie. Listen, all I'm going to say is Kyrie, um, Shared a link to this video. Mm -hmm. Kyrie got put in an anti-Semitism bag because he shared the link to this video. Right. Now, where things got murky was people went at Kyrie to just say, I am not anti-Semitic. Um, you know, these are not my personal beliefs. Mm -hmm. I shared this link. Kyrie, on the other hand, was like, Y'all got the audacity to even think this is how I roll. Mm -hmm. So I'm not set. It was almost like if somebody be like, girl, I heard you was a hoe. And be like, I ain't even going to address that junk. Because if y'all even thought I was a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> not a hoe, though. I'm mad at you. I was a hoe. Um, <laughs> I guess that's the only way I could rationalize it. That he was so insulted by the assumption that he wasn't going to address it, but I'm like, bro, mm -hmm. it's much easier just to say a few things. Um, so anyway, he ended up getting suspended for five games without pay from by the Brooklyn Nets because he refused mm -hmm. to denounce anti-Semitism, I guess. Yeah. And um, he refused to apologize for sharing the video. So after he got suspended, of course, he apologized. 
Mm-hmm. Um, after the apology, people was like, you know, that was an apology, but it wasn't an apology, apology. <laughs> so then Nike suspended their relationship with him and trashed the Kyrie eights. And mm-hmm. then now the Brooklyn Nets have released this checklist of things that Kyrie needs to do in order to satisfy, um, I guess, the league and satisfy the public before he can be reinstated as a player on the Brooklyn Nets. So wow. this particular situation has divided a lot of people. Damn. You have the people that's like, well, Kyrie, dumbass, shouldn't have said that stuff. Right. Or he shouldn't have posted it. So you got that group of people. Then you got the group of people that's like, um, the freedom of speech man. people. The freedom of speech people. Yeah. Thank you, Carla. The freedom yeah. of speech people. Black man can't say nothing in America without <laughs> having blah, 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 blah. Then you also have the damn, y'all, y'all treating him like a slave. Like y'all trying to, mm-hmm. now y'all trying to make an example out of him. Right. And then you have the NBA players who are tap dancing all around it. Okay, yeah, it's horrible. Guy, but, you know, he did say a lot of things that hurt a lot of people. They need to shut up. A lot of them just need to not comment, honestly. Mm. I'm seeing a lot of people put their foot in their mouths. It's, it's a lot of hypocrisy going on with this situation. A it lot. It really is. A lot. It is. Lot. It is. It's a I shame felt, that. I'm, I feel like 21 know. Savage. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> a lot. Um, yeah, so um, with that being said... Let us know where you stand with Kyrie, because that's all that's all I'm gonna say about that. Because the Lord tried to choke me and I listened to signs. So the Lord tried <laughs> to choke me real quick. So I listen. When the Lord talk, I listen. I um, two more stories I want to jump into real quick. Um, mm. share. <laughs> Ciao. Man, shall be you getting it. Love, love, love. <laughs> so um, out of all the people in the world, shared and linked up with Amber Rose's. Damn, baby daddy. Man, listen. Shout out in these streets trying to get it out here. Listen. Cougar in it. Okay. He knocked it <laughs> <up. laughs> Yeah, well, I already know what you ah, listen. Look, the God of God didn't already made you. God you know, you was, you Lord Jesus. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you what I know based off of context clues. Mm-hmm. There is one thing that Amber Rose loves. Mm-hmm. And she loves some good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some good, good. She Got loves it. some good, good, right? Yeah. Now, let's, let's just take a look. Let's just take a look. Um, We're not going to count Kanye because we already know that was the come up. Yeah, yeah. With- <laughs> Wait, hold on. Not the fact that you just dismissed Kanye. How you know that man? Ain't- no, 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 no. That was the come up. Girl, You nothing in those boots can convince me. <laughs> That he know how to knock them. Nothing in them boots he wear. Yes, word. No, word. Nothing in them boots he running around with can convince me he know how to knock them. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. So where's Khalifa? Mm. Check. Tall, mm. skinny. Mm. We. I've seen, seen a print. How many times we done seen a okay. print? Let's keep All it. Right. Let's just okay. Let's keep it. Let's honey. keep it a buck. Okay. Let's yes. keep it a buck. Okay. That's yes. what we doing today. Okay. <laughs> Wiz Khalifa. Mm. Um. After Wiz, what was it? Wasn't there a Twenty One Savage for a little bit? Yeah. I think so because it was a couple people in between, wasn't it? Uh, Wiz and Twenty One. I don't know. So I can't but, remember. I got okay. Go well, we're gonna stick to what we know, right? Yes. <laughs> All right. Then there was Twenty One. Twenty One. Twenty One. Twenty One. Now, I on I looking at Twenty One Savage. I'm not willing to go out on a limb, but she started feeding him vegetables. So if a woman <laughs> gonna cook vegetables for him, apparently he was doing something. Okay. <laughs> wasn't it there? Um, please correct me if I'm wrong. Was there, a, or I had a wrong person, a Machine Gun Kelly or somebody in between? Oh, hold on. I got to look that up. Yeah, I, look, so I was about to look it up, too. It's some. I feel like there was somebody else, like, between see. 21 Savage, after, you know, Wiz 21. And I Who feel like has Amber Rose else. dated? Let's see. Right. Somebody don't put that. From Wikipedia. <laughs> Damn, not Wiki. Uh-huh. We're on it. Yeah, it's right, like, I'm not um, sure, but I feel like it definitely was somebody in between, um... I don't know. Not us pulling her Carfax report. I though. know. Listen, we got to know. And I know y'all uh, want to know. Ooh. What? 21 Savage. Val. Right. Remember Val? Val? I don't Val, know if that Val, was, I don't Val, know if that Val. was uh, Val uh, Cherkovsky. Remember the Dancing with the Stars guy, the white guy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know oh, if that I was found legit, MGK. Though. MGK. It was only four months back in 2015. Okay. 
MGK. It was a little brief. That was that was just a little what, fling. Okay, that was a little thing thing, but MGK yeah. be drinking blood, so I know he, he, <laughs> he drink some cooch juice too, okay? Mm-hmm. Also, isn't he tall and lanky though too? Yes, he is. All right. Okay. And it's something about them people covered in tattoos too, but we're going to leave that big. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Then Odell Beckham Jr.? For real? Word? What was that? That had to be a quick stint. That had to be a quick stint. Two, 2015 to 217. See, so that might have been right after MGK then, because they only did four months in 15, from what hmm. I saw. James okay, Harden. Amber. I. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Uh, what's under it's that the beard for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's under that beard, though? <laughs> Shout out to James Harden. Wait, so this yo, they did wrong talking about Amber has had encounters. Wow, Ben Simmons, Aton, Offset, y'all wilding. They, <laughs> no, no wow, hold up, man. Offsets on the nah. Oh, we got to go through that list later. Got, you know what? We got to go through our Offsets later because yeah, yeah. Now we're not we're not about to do Amber dirty now. The only point, the only reason why we even pulled the Carfax report is because we trying to prove that one thing Amber love is some yeah. good, yes, good, yeah. Somebody rocking, rock, rock, knocking your <laughs> I ain't knocking her. Shout out to yeah. Amber for real. Knocking, baby. Okay, so anyway, um, so yes, yeah, so <laughs> with that being said, so with AE, mm-hmm. um, I'm pretty sure he, he he's yeah. knocking some boots. Oh, so yeah. it's not far fetched for Cher to get open as she is. Oh yeah, because I'm talking about a young, a young strapping <laughs> little young black man. <laughs> <laughs> and let's not get it effed up, Cher. Look, you come okay. on. We talking about Cher. We talk about Cher. We talk about Cher. So, um, yeah, I, she in there throwing it back. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Listen, you already know he he collected. Let's keep it. You know, <laughs> you had to do Cher. Listen, Cher, sis, auntie, what? what? Ma'am, what's what what category do Cher fall in? She's 76. I yeah, because yeah, she technically she's not my Cougar. auntie. No, oh auntie. No, she more no, like she, a great auntie. Like I no. ma'am, can I call her just ma'am? Like ma'am. Yeah, she's a yeah. Because I've never looked at Cher like an auntie. You know, aunties are nah, endearing. Nah, she's nah. my auntie. So yeah. um, ma'am, uh <laughs> listen by any chance today, um, please protect your heart, your yeah. assets. Your finances, your Maybe wallet. Maybe finances. She ain't worried about. She damn sure ain't gonna fall. That ain't she. She ain't falling in love. That shit uh, is all about. Like I don't you know because she, she talking about he treat her like a queen. He done met her whole family. Uh, I'm yeah. like, Cher, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing, Cher? But, you know, I remember at this point she looking at, and I'm not rushing her out of here because we could leave here today or tomorrow. But at yeah, that age, that. I was thinking like, who gonna take good care of me? Mm. Yeah, true that. But it ain't gonna be him. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tell you that right now. I ain't gonna be he gonna cash and dash. <laughs> but um, okay, so Carla, um, but just share. You heard me, ma'am. Just please listen, ma'am. Um, all right, Carla. So before we go, what are you watching? Listen, you got you gotta forgive me this week because I went down that like that whole takeover. I mean, take off. Yeah, the rabbit uh, hole investigation. Still. Yeah, the rabbit hole, and then like I literally like tried to start. Of course, I'm st- I'm caught up on um reasonable doubt though. That's what I'm Ooh. I'm not going. That's what I'm not going. Today. You ain't catch okay. up yet. No. Yeah, girl, we gotta talk. We get definitely gotta Ooh. talk. But um, I'm sorry, I haven't watched anything new. I tried to uh start the good nurse and I fell asleep. Don't beat <gasps> Don't. me up. Um, Don't it's a slow up. burn though. It is a it slow is. burn. It's a slow okay. burn. Okay. Um, so I watch Killer Sally. Oh, Killer well, Sally is about the bodybuilding woman who um, claims that her bodybuilding husband is a white woman. She's mm-hmm. a bodybuilder and she married a black man who was a bodybuilder and she claimed that he was abusive mm-hmm. and she ended up going to get a shotgun. He It was Valentine's Day. He allegedly came home and choked her. So she went mm-hmm. and got a shotgun, shot him in his chest and then shot him a second time in his face. Mm. But wow. she was saying that it was self-defense, but they were like, uh, ma'am, you went back into the bedroom to load the shotgun the second time and then came back out and shot him in the face. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. She ended up. And it's a shotgun. A We're talking shot- about a shotgun that put gun. a hole the size of a damn. Okay. Basketball okay. on somebody. Okay. Alone. So that was good. It was like a okay. three part limited series on Netflix. So that's available oh, right. on Netflix. But I watched this movie y'all called The Police, My Policeman. Okay. Ciao. 
What? 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 Get that thing was juicy. A Wait. word? Juicy. Got a <laughs> that thing was juicy. So let me tell you the plot. Mm-hmm. It stars Harry Styles. Y'all know, you know, the um, Caucasian community loved him some Harry yes. Styles. Yes. Stars Harry love- Styles, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. he's a policeman, and he met a painter or a guy who has an art museum or something. Mm-hmm. But anyway, Harry had a boo, and the policeman had a boo, and they was getting married. But mm-hmm. this man at the art di- at the art gallery done turned Harry out. Girl, uh, turn team out. Word? Turn team out. <laughs> Not turnt, though. Turned, turned him out. Now, he done yeah. went and married the woman. Okay. Right? So then he comes back and tells the art guy, he was like, listen, I'm getting married, blah, blah. He was like, so what are you trying to break up with me? And he was like, I wanted to know if you, you would be willing to share me. Child, the whole wow. marriage. Mm-hmm. They had this whole thing going on, but it was during a time where homosexuality was considered a crime. Girl, when I okay. tell you the twist wow. and turn in this film was so god darn good. Homosexuality was a crime, mm-hmm. but Harry Styles was a police officer who was on the down low. That's, damn, that's what makes that that sound. Oh, I, I'm, I need to watch that. Prime Amazon Prime, please. Yes. Amazon Prime. That thing was good. Wow, it was good. Wow. It was good. So, yeah, so that's what I've been watching. So okay. um, just thank you all for tuning in to another episode of the Ice Cream Convos podcast where we serve delicious scoops of entertainment and celebrity news. Carla, as always, you are the most amazing co-host on the planet. And you are um, the most awesome host ever, period. You. you already know. I'll tell you that on a daily. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I just love you so much. I make thank my you. air hearts and send them to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so thank you all for tuning in to today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed the show. As always, we encourage you to be a part of the show by dropping down in the comments wherever you listen and let us know your thoughts, opinions, views, and feelings and Tell us why you mad in the comments below or also tell us why you happy and blessed. Um, also, please like, rate, and subscribe to podcasts um, wherever you listen and tell a friend about the show. Uh, we release new episodes every single Wednesday. And Carla, before we go, what's your part in words, boo-boo kitty? Um, I don't know. I, today, I think just like somebody helped get me in the Christmas spirit because I'm mm. trying to start early this year. Here's somebody, that's, look, yes, let's get in the Christmas spirit with everything mm. going on right now. I feel like we should try to push that more because it's a lot going on. A lot mm-hmm. of death, a lot of. Well, I'm going to pump your brakes. I'm going to pump right. your brakes. Before right. we get into the Christmas spirit, let's do some right. Thanksgiving because we need to get a lure some thanks. <laughs> try, if we're yes. still here and we still have the people that we care about around, even yeah, if we don't that. have the people we still care about around, just the fact that we still remember them or have their memories in our hearts or whatever. Like, like child, I'm going to be at the Thanksgiving table praying so hard. My turkey about to get cold. Because listen, no, the way things are going out here. Mm, yeah. Mm, 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 yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I'm so glad so. you said that. Yeah. Thanksgiving first. I just, it, yeah. it definitely need the energy though. We got to, mm-hmm. you know, we got to get back to that. I feel like Absolutely. I love more. Okay. Give love on Christmas. See? Look at you. Ready for the Christmas. That's what I'm talking about. Pull out that Jackson 5. Pull out that Jackson 5. I was everybody. ready. Let's yeah. Pull it on out. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we are getting ready to head to the polls. And by the time yeah. you listen to this, your ass, you ass better have been to <laughs> and you didn't, I'm telling you, when you feel that little first little bite between your butt cheeks, <laughs> you <become> me. <laughs> oh you my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we love you guys with the love of yeah, Jesus yeah. and with yeah. the love of a homegirl and Shonda's little brother. But we are <laughs> headed out. And thank you guys for listening so much. Until next week, ICC. We all we got. Peace. Love y'all. Love you. (laughs) Ice cream conversation. Ice cream conversation.